Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more content like this. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing the audition tutorial for SL Studio, and then later I'll also be participating in a singing contest that you guys also might be interested in, so make sure to stick till the end if you wanna, if you wanna hear me sing, and also participate in the concert. Contest, not concert. Contest, of course. But anyway, back to the SL Studio audition. By participating in this audition, you can join up to eight companies, so audition for them at once. So it's very convenient for you guys who are just trying to get into as much as companies as possible, or just trying to get into one company. So for more audition tutorials, you can check out my playlist right here. It's actually officially 50 audition tutorials, if I am correct. I actually did not get to the 2020 companies you can audition for in 2022, but I will probably get onto that. Anyway, make sure to subscribe and let's get on with the video. Okay, so currently we are on the SL Studio Academy Instagram and as you guys know, this isn't like a company. This is one of those studios where you can get dancing lessons, singing lessons, and like music lessons in general. If you do want more information, I recommend you check my video out on SL Studio that I posted. I think it was during the summer, so I'll leave that link in the description if you are looking for more information about them. But just to clarify, this is not a company and they're just essentially holding this audition so that people people that also attend this academy and people who aren't attending this academy can also join this audition. So this audition is until February 14th, so you do have a bit of time but not like too much, so just letting you guys know of that. And I'm not sure if there's an English translation here, but I'll just, I'll just translate. <laughs> okay, so the file of the name should be your name dash age dash your category and I'll explain about categories in a bit and the file size should be 100 megabytes and lower and a lot of people ask my audition is like over 100 megabytes or like whatever size the company asks for how do I like make, make it smaller or something like that there's no other choice for you except for you to cut the video down and make it shorter because if it's over 100 megabytes it's probably like really really high quality which i doubt it if you're just like filming from your phone or whatever or any other kind of device similar to that and for each category just include one video so it's one video per category and the length of the video so file one is your introduction and your main um, category so that should be two minutes and less than that and then file two would be your subcategory and that should be 90 seconds and less so what they recommend is like 90 seconds for each song essentially. So I guess the introduction, what they're looking for is 30 seconds. I did make a video or I guess three of them on introductions, two on English and one on Korean introduction. So make sure to go check that out as well. So when you're filming your self introduction, singing and rap, you should only see like the top half of your body. So maybe until like a little lower than your shoulders essentially. And if you're doing dance, then you should also have a full body and it doesn't matter if you have a mask on but for your self-introduction your singing and rap you cannot have a mask on so you have to show your actual face and when it comes to singing you shouldn't have any mr which means you shouldn't have any background music or background vocals so for rap it says you have to have a beat but make sure it's like low i guess and for dancing obviously have music on it and they're actually quite strict about this part which is if you want to apply it's only one audition per person and they check it every day so if you actually see du if they see duplicates then they'll delete both videos or three videos or how many of them you submitted and if you get accepted by this company or they ask for additional videos then they will individually contact you and immediately after the deadline is done so that would be the 14th all of the information goes to each of the companies whatever you applied for so here are the companies that you can apply for and their little restrictions, I guess. So it doesn't matter what age or nationality you are, but it's only for males. <laughs> um, and the categories you can choose is vocal, rap, dance. You can choose up to two of them, so it's either one or two categories. So for SM Entertainment, it doesn't matter what nationality you are. For females, you have to be after 2003, including 2003. And for males, it's 2000 and after. The categories you can choose is vocal, rap, and dance, and you can choose one or two of them. And for YG Entertainment, it doesn't matter what your gender or your nationality is, but you have to be born through 2003 to 2011. And you can choose one of vocal, rap, or dance. And for B-Lift, it doesn't matter what gender or nationality you are, but you have to be born between 2000 and 2009. And you can choose from vocal, rap, dance and choose one or two. 
For Yuha Entertainment, it doesn't matter what your gender or your nationality is, but you have to be born after 2003, and you can choose one or two of vocal, rap, and dance. For Pletus, it doesn't matter what your gender or your nationality is, but you have to be born after 2003, and you can choose one of vocal, rap, dance. And for Source, it doesn't matter what your nationality is, but you have to be born between 2003 and 2011, only girls are allowed, and choose one of vocal, rap, dance. And lastly, Big Planet Made is it doesn't matter what your gender or your nationality is, but you do have to be born after 2003 and you can choose one or two of vocal rap dance. Wow, that's a lot of information, but that is every single company that you can apply for. In the caption here, it says it doesn't matter what company or how many you apply for, as long as you actually fit their criteria of your age and your gender. And for Link, you can find it in their story page. So let's just go to their stories right now. I have not read this yet. Oh, never mind. It should be in their highlights. Okay, so here is the foreigner link. I'm assuming you guys are needing that. Oh my goodness, my notifications. <laughs> okay, so it says 2022 Winter Star Audition Week online. So, okay, email, your name, your phone number, date of birth. Height and weight, so all of these are very straightforward. Gender, so your nationality one is only like your region or like continent essentially, and the nationality two is your country. So say your nationality is Canada, then you would choose America and then write Canada right here. And then your applying field, your company, you can choose multiple, you can choose all of them as long as you fit in. Actually, you couldn't do all of them because like Fantasio only has boys and Source only has girls, so. You couldn't have all of it, but you can have, to a certain extent, all of it. So here's your file one. Like I said, it should be the self-introduction and main field combined. And the file name should be your name slash age slash main field, less than 100 megabytes. And your sub field, they misspelled that. <laughs> when you choose the companies, is can choose two sections and duplicate. And this should be less than 100 megabytes. And so read all of this personal information collection and use agreement, agree, and then you can submit the form. Yay, now on to the singing contest part, the part that you guys have been waiting for. So to give some details about this, it's hosted by this app called Kabang. And Kabang is a Korean karaoke app that features K-pop songs and other songs as well, where you can practice your singing. It would be perfect for your auditions while you're trying to practice because it does provide the proper instrumentals and all of that. So the good thing about these singing contests and how it relates to K-pop auditions as well is sometimes within audition forms, they will have a section where it's called like awards and things like that. And if you did actually happen to win this contest, then you could write it in those sections. So if you are interested in joining this contest yourself, Make sure to watch this video, I'll link it down in the description for more details about that. And let's get on to the singing.
contest yourself, make sure to check out Kabang, and I'll leave the link for the description of the YouTube video of how you can join this contest yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video, and hope you join the contest yourself. Mine was totally just for fun, not like super serious about participation. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.